Welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, now it's time for a beer that was, I can't remember exactly where I got it from, it was either Tesco's or Morrison's. I know originally when they had their releases pretty much identical, don't they? I'm certain it was Tesco's. Uh, they didn't have this beer at the time wherever I got it from. Like I said, was Tesco's or Morrison's. Uh, but I went back a few weeks back, maybe a month back, and uh, they had it in there so I picked one up. Pick one up for the daughter as well because I'm a bad influence. Give that to her so she could try. So, uh, yeah, uh, this one is a collab beer from Salt and Pomona, Pomona Island. Struggling there with me words tonight. Uh, had a few beers already, to be honest. Uh, and it's a can of their Shoop New England IPA coming in at 6.4%. It's supposed to be hazy, juicy, just as you'd expect from a New England IPA. Uh, 6.4%, 440 ml can. I think this was £3.50. Can't be certain, but I think it was. And it was definitely from one of them shops. So, uh, lovely present my wife gave me for Christmas. I will stop saying all that soon, but I do like to make a point of it at the moment. Uh, using that one, I've got a salt glass, but I think it's like 330 ml. So, it'd be nice to actually put it in a pint glass and get it all in, get all the flavour in there in one go. And then we can take it from there. Typical sort of uh, salt artwork on there. The bottom side, I'm guessing, is Pomona Island, sort of how their artwork is. So let's get this out of the can. See if I enjoy it. Hope you're going to have a good night tonight. Make the most of it, because why not? It's been a pretty shit year, really, hasn't it? Decided to wang everyone into another tier up, and it, I think, just as. Maybe I'm being a bit cynical, but I think that was just to stop everyone bloody going out, isn't it? A pint glass made a big fuck up of the pour, as you can see. We've got a bit of a 50-50 going on. A nice hazy, real hazy orange colour. We got we got a four-finger beer and a four-finger head. Just have a bit of fun there, isn't it? Uh, quite compact head. Looks real decent, to be honest. I'm not really sort of seeing when they're hazy. You really, it's it, it's struggled to see the carbonation on there. The head is going down a little bit, but let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. So, fruity, bit bit juice bomby. A little bit tropical in there. Quite hard to pick up all the things. There's such a big head on it. You, you, you're just picking up what's on the head, really. And we are having we're having a bit of a chicken nibble night tonight. So all I can smell as well is chilli and spicy shit and what have you as well. So I do apologise, but it is tropical. It's juicy. No sort of like big. You can you can tell it's authentic hop sort of juiciness but there's no real big hop character in the aroma so without further ado let's dive in let's enjoy new year's eve and drink cheers oh that's nice first thing for me Juicy, juice bomb sort of thing. Not, I'm not going to say juice bomb, but certainly big, big juice hit. Juicy bitterness to it. Nice body to the beer. Not too much carbonation. Is in there, don't get me wrong. Quite smooth to drink. Should have swirled that around really before I'd emptied it. Just what you'd expect from New England IPA. But not too bitter. I think they tend to be, well, I don't know, New England's a, a more sort of sweeter sort of thing, aren't they? So it's probably just bang on really. But I've had quite a few New Englands that have been quite bitter. This is more on the juice side, a little bit lighter. Lovely, lovely drink. 
smooth, easy to drink. 6.4% are you getting that? I wouldn't go as high as that. Bitterness is certainly giving it a bit more of a an alcohol presence, but but not 6.4, no, no. It's very juicy and it's just bitter, really. Uh, if somebody served you that and you had that bitterness and juiciness, <coughs> excuse me, and you didn't know it was a beer, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think anything different, to be honest. So, uh, so yeah, really nice. Uh, tropical hop aromas, yeah. Uh, juicy New England IPA, smooth body, low bit. Uh, excuse me again. Low bitterness, not shy with dry hop, Vic Secret. Yeah, I always think dry hopping is. gives you that more hop sort of flavour in there. And that's building up as you drink it. A really enjoyable New England IPA. Same kind I would certainly drink again. Uh, so there you go. Shoop from Tesco's or Morrison's. Can't remember. Certainly it was Tesco's. Eh? Around the £3.50 mark. Uh, if you like your New England IPAs, you're going to love that. Bit of a juice bomb. Low bitterness. Very easy to drink. And well worth the purchase. So let me know what you think. If you've had that. I think I would recommend it myself. If you like that style of beer, you're going to love that, I think. Uh, so thanks for watching. That's it for another beer review. There may be, maybe one more tonight. Not sure. No. I've got to be half sensible. It's her birthday tomorrow, so I've got to be good in the morning. Uh, and that's it, really. So you might see me back for another one tonight. If not tomorrow no doubt at some point and uh, enjoy your New Year's Eve I'm not going to say don't get too drunk get shit faced enjoy yourself make the most of it because tomorrow we're back to bloody square one again for three months no doubt so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again on another beer review cheers <laughs>